Hello, 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 and good morning, and good afternoon, and good night, wherever you are. I am looking forward to kicking with you today. Curtis from Valaris Martial Arts of Madison. We're going to do kickboxing with kicks. I have posted a playlist, which I hope you enjoy. Got to get my chair out of here. Ah. Ah. Standing feet shoulder width apart as you breathe in, growing tall. As you breathe out, grounding your feet. Loosen up your neck, roll out your shoulders. I have injured my ankle somehow, don't know how, just feels a little bit wonky, so I might take it a little easy on this foot today. If you've injured yourself, please do the same, always. Swing your arms. I want to build on what we talked about on Tuesday, kicks. Show you guys some cool side kicks. Roll out those hips, both directions. Seat kicks, guard up. High knees, I'm placing my knees very deliberately today so I don't hurt my ankle. It's good practice for balance and control to do that. You try holding up for a minute before you put it down. Sometimes when we come up, we have a tendency to go up off our heel, at least I do, and I've seen others do it. So I might do this and that's to be avoided. If you're really trying to deliver maximum knee-age, it makes sense. If you were really striking someone, maybe to get a little extra, but it's not strongest for your balance. So we can try holding and making sure that you're still grounded. Cool. Swing the foot. I'm gonna bounce back today deep. This is a useful technique for kicking. Try it. Try to like step back a little further than you normally do on this. And then spring off that ball of your foot. Switch your feet. Be aware of your front foot. How does it feel when you swing that leg up? All this body awareness is really valuable for improving your kicks. My feet tend to roll out like this, and I notice it, and I try to think about keeping my foot grounded and avoiding that. Couple to the side. Sharp exhales. Again, I'm aware right now of where I'm putting my feet. I'm putting them together. You can choose to put them less together, but the wider you get, the more you feel like one of these guys. So it's nice to take a moment, ground it to the same spot. Rising, heel kicks. Loosen up the front of your leg, warm that up. For this one, if I lean in, I'm aware that I'm doing that, like a teapot, but I think it's nice to try not to, and you won't kick as high, and that's okay, because the point is to feel it in your legs. I like hands on hips, it helps me to feel that, but guard up is good too. And if you wanna try bending down, that's a different thing. 
but it's kind of fun too. It's valid too. If you really want to kick someone in the chin behind you, you can do it by bending forward. All right, shake it out. Stretch out anything else you need. Let's do some squirmies. Backfall. Reach for the inside heel. Let the shoulder blades up off the ground. Tuck the belly button. I'm gonna do five breaths each time. Three, four, five. We're switching to the Russian twist now, so you have your hands on your elbows. As you breathe in, straighten your spine. As you breathe out, extend. Breathe in, both legs out. This is full extension. Breathe in. I lost my breathing, really. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. There you go. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Go. There we go. Now I feel my obliques cooking. Stretch it out. Full body stretch. Roll it over. Let's do a plank. We're going to do around the world plank today. Five breaths each time. Slow breaths. That's two for me. Three. Drop your shoulders. Tuck your abs. Curl your belly button and clench your butt. I lost count. I think that's three. Four. Five. All right. So now we're going to go to the side. For this, you're going to reach up, point at the ceiling. You can do it here from your elbow or here from your hand, whatever you like. We'll call that two. Hips forward and um, up. Not, not here, you know, but don't let yourself come down. Three. Four, five. Okay, let's do a bridge. So sitting back here, and you just bring your hips up here. An alternate version of this would be to put your hands here. I usually point my fingers away from me. This way is fine. High is good. But if you go from here, that's also fine. Feel your feet grounded. Hands on your stomach if you want a little bit more challenging. Pressing up. Two more breaths. One more breath. Cool. Last stop. So we didn't do this side yet. Do that. I like these when there's more space and you don't have to readjust. You can just a roll. That is okay. Reaching up. Tucking. I'm going to call that two, even though it's three. I'm going to call this three. So I'm a computer programmer. I start counting at zero. Four. Five. Very good. Back to the center. From here, you put your hands down, put your knees down. Well, not knees down. We're in a mountain climbers. Bring each knee up high and bring it all the way back each time. You can bring your knees across the body now. Now try outside. Those are the most awkward. Back to center. For me, anyway. Okay. Pulling back. Child's pose. 
water. Okay, let's do round kick, roundhouse kick, turn the toe, double rising kick, landing back, elbow, elbow, uppercut. Every time, same side. So work on turning the foot, getting that kick, landing back, and putting the foot back. See. We're gonna take it a little slower now and work on the flow. So the uppercut comes up, as it comes back, show me that uppercut. Your hips turn right through the middle, rising up, and our hip is engaged. This kick is gonna come out now. So you have to turn that toe into that kick. Let's try uppercut. And from here, foot turns, kick. Uppercut, foot turns, kick. And you should be right, turning in one direction. And as you turn the other way, the kick comes out. And you might notice when I punch, Sometimes my heel goes out this way, or the back heel can go that way, whichever, the punching side. You don't have to do that on purpose, but if you're punching through the ground, that can happen. And if you see that happening to yourself, just know it's gonna turn back the other way. And you throw that kick. Switch, switch, switch. Right leg forward. So now, turn the toe, double rising kick. Elbow, elbow, uppercut. If you know the floating pivot, you can try it. What I like about floating pivot with double rising is you can get that second kick having even more than your first one. So you turn a bit, kick, and then turn even more. But to do that, you have to be not only centered with your balance, you have to have a little play. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the uppercut, kick, uppercut, kick as you land back in the uppercut and coming forward. Go for height as comfortably as you can manage without it being too bad balance wise. Let's do a real big dip now. Put your feet. Double rising kick. And as you come back, bend and stand. Hi. 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 Switch. Double rising kick. Coming back. Bend. Stand. Hi. Think about scooping under a ball, rising up. Big bunch. Nice switch. Okay, double rising kick. Then back, uppercut, uppercut. And we'll do a roundhouse knee, but let's build up to that. So roundhouse knee is the same as the roundhouse kick, just closer range. If I'm targeting this bookcase, Here's where I wanna be for the roundhouse kick. I obviously am not gonna land that knee, but from closer, it lands to the side here, or on this desk here. It can be low, it can be high. So we're gonna try this fighting stance, turn the toe, bringing that knee up. Guard is up, but for training, I like to kind of bring my palm into it. Because a lot of times when you do this move, you might have something on their body, you might have their shirt, their shoulder, their head, their hair, bam, and you're bringing it into the knee. You can train without doing that, but in the air, I think it's easier to use the hands. On the bag, you'll do it without grabbing. It's not as hard as you might imagine. So we're landing it forward every time and stepping back. Okay, switch. Way. We're doing left one now. Hi. Here. Make sure you turn that toe. Hi. And reset. Hi. And this is not coming up here and straight across, right? You can see it comes with this angle. 
I, and if you're landing sideways, that's, that's okay. Like, cause you're gonna, this is a big knee. You're gonna throw it out and you may land to the side. It's gonna happen in a fight. Hopefully you're not fighting, but if you are. And then you can follow on with something else like an elbow. Boom. Couple more. For this one. Okay, switch your feet. Let's try the combo now. So double rising kick. Uh, landing back. Uppercut, uppercut. And then we're gonna throw this knee landing forward and reset and switch. Well, let's land forward, shuffle back. So roundhouse kicks, landing back, good control. Uppercut, uppercut, roundhouse knee, and reset with a shuffle. Double rising kick. I keep wanting to land forward because this kick is so big, but we're using control right now. So here, punch, punch, then the knee. So to visualize, think exploratory kicks. So, so, okay, it didn't quite work. Wham, wham, and then boom, there's my opening. Visualize your opponent. Here, here, they're coming at you, you retreat. You come in with these close, if they're really coming at you, that's when these uppercuts would come. Because this kick is long range, right? But then it's like, whoa, here they come. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Finish strong. Kick, kick, landing back, uppercuts, and a knee. Landing in. Here we go. Hi. But I gotta commit to that knee. I'm working this myself here. Kick, kick, landing back. Uppercuts. Big knee. That's what's gonna help me is knowing that I've got more coming. If I really need someone like this. I would not be done. I would. Some hands to finish. Take down, knock them down, something. So let's add that. We're gonna go here. Wham, wham, big knee. And we'll come in with a dropping elbow. Dropping elbow. And then if you wanna throw a punch, you can. So we go kicks. Now here's the big attack. Boom. Wham, wham, wham. And then we're done. Here, retreating, advancing. Sa, sa, sa. Yeah, I like that uppercut there too. Shallow uppercut. Okay, uppercuts, knee, dropping, big. The first one brings their shoulders down, their, their collarbone maybe, and the second elbow really hits the spine. And then you can finish with a punch straight to their face. Kicks, landing back, uppercuts, big knee. Oh, I love those hands. We'll just change to hooks for the retreating ones. So we're gonna kick. Hook, and then we're gonna finish big. Do it this way so you guys can see. Kick, landing back, punches to a big knee, two dropping elbows, and a big uppercut. Treat, kicks, retreating, advancing, finishing. Kicks, retreating, advancing, high, finishing. A couple more. Here. Advancing. You may notice after that hook, let's uh, do another ab set. I'll talk about that hook in a minute. Let's do legs up. change to crunchy frogs so if you have room your hands are over your head feet are up here and as you sit up clap under your legs an easier version of this is to keep your hands down or if you don't have room you can go straight through the middle but I find that awkward I really like the opening I, I, a couple more you can do it Keep your knees together. Feet together, knees together. 
Yes, rolling forward. And set push-ups. Dragon tail, one toe up. Even from your knees, you can still do the dragon tails. Switch dragon tails. Right. All right, pull it back. Ah, water. Doing good, guys. That hook. Where were we? Kick, landing back, hook hook and then I want to go into a knee I want to throw fighting stance left leg forward so you're gonna throw hook and then a knee and if you do that you'll see I'm going the same way twice it almost works better if you go hook off the front hook off the back hook off the front again because then you're set for this knee so how do you do it if all you got is hook off the back and then you want the knee there's two choices you can hook and imagine, oh, I got them. I hit them, maybe my fist stuck on their temple, got the hair, and I just continue. So you went halfway, and then you go the other half. That happens, can happen. The other thing that can happen is you, you, you swing and miss, and you want that knee, you just bring back around. So you come here and circle back around, and back. Imagine like, you're just gonna, your shoulder is gonna punch. Not really hit him with it, but just you're bringing, bringing your torso back around. Or think I'm gonna gather energy here. Punch, gather, knee. Switch your feet. Punch off the back. Every time we wanna punch off the back, you come back around. So punch, come around, knee. It's good to practice that because you don't always have the next move lined up at the right time. Hey, you can also practice hitting it straight into the next one. All right, cool. I'll show you one more thing before we're done with class. We did side kicks last time, yeah? Let's do it quick. Turn the toe, bring the knee up, kick out to the side and back. Here, knee up this way, facing there. Guard is facing here. Turn, Hi. And then switch our feet. Turn the toe, knee up here kick and back and down. A couple more. Turn the toe, knee up, kick. I'm being careful with this ankle. If I look a little odd, that's why. Switch. Now, you can also do this kick to the front. The way that you do it to the front is you have to turn that foot as far as you can and then swing the knee up and turn it even more. Let's try. Turn the foot, swing. We're not even gonna throw the kick yet, you're just gonna turn the toe, swing the knee, and turn the foot even more. Turn the toe, swing the knee, and down. Switch your feet, turn the toe, and swing the foot even, even more. Toe, more, because then you're good to go with the heel towards your opponent. Because from here, if you try to side kick, this knee is torqued. From here, you have to huh, more, and then kick. A way to make that easier, and one of my favorite combos, is the knee into side kick combo. So switch your feet, left leg forward. You're gonna turn this foot, and you're gonna swing that knee that we were doing. And as you swing the knee, let the foot turn again, and then side kick. So you're gonna knee, side kick. You can use your hand. Just a little grab, knee. And even as you thrust the foot out, you can turn that toe. That's the floating pivot. It can be done in one shot as well. So if you're here, and that big knee turns the foot, and then the kick. So now we're gonna try an advancing combo. Knee, kick, and you can finish with those hand strikes that we did. Retreat. So you bring the knee into the kick. Elbow, elbow punch. And feel free to land this really narrow. Kick, side kick, landing in to the side. Wham, wham, boom. Reset. Hi, hi. Knee, kick. 
it's not that different than just doing the sidekick without the knee. Because even if you don't do the knee, your leg has to move all the way around. Try without the knee. Here, alternating sides. Come on, guys. Almost done. Right. So. So. Swing around and out. So. It's two parts. The turn and then the boom. A balance drill would be so. So. hold it for a minute. A couple times, try. Here, kick, and then go. So. Two more, one on each side. Here, kick, go. Here, kick, and go. One more time on each side, finish the combo with the knee. We're gonna finish strong, go. Side. This is it. Side. Okay. I hope that was fun and enjoyable and interesting, or at least a good workout. Let me know in the comments if you liked or didn't like that combo. And if you have requests for next week's classes, I would love to cover whatever you want. Reaching for one toe. To the center. And switch. To the middle. If you did not already see in the comment, in the description, you can support us on Venmo during COVID-19. We'd appreciate it very much if you're finding this content useful. And I miss you all. Butterfly stretch. On your feet, one leg up, arm out, flex the thigh. Bring it up to the outside. And across. Switch, flex. Outside. Inside. Growing tall as you breathe in. Okay, rolling hips. Other direction. Over the top. Down through the middle. It's a quick stretch for our back today. Up to the other side. To the top. Down, rolling hips. Rolling shoulders. All right, forward. Oh. Roll your head. Let's finish with our full body stretch today. We're gonna breathe in, grow tall. Exhale, lean down. Hanging down. Breathe in as you grow tall. Stretch your back. Holding that breath. Reaching up tall. Exhale. Nice work, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. <laughs>